a very good evening to you. Welcome back to the Word Feast. We are glad that you have joined us once more for yet another episode. And uh, for today, um, as usual, I'm joined by my co-host and friend. Yes, my name is Kelvin Wesonga, and uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. Thank you for joining in for the Word Feast, uh, Word Feast program. I believe that today is going to be a wonderful time. Mm-hmm going to have a nice discussion and I believe that you'll be able to enjoy. Yeah, mm. we will. Mm. And my name is Joan Wachia and a uh, uh, quick notice that we are we are open to having guests. So if you're out there, or if you know somebody who's out there who can come and um, join us in our discussions and you have something to talk about, feel free to reach us out f- at um, pefasyokimauyouth at gmail.com and we'll be very happy to have you. Yeah. yeah. So today we'll be um, looking at the topic friendship and accountability, and I think it's a very important important topic to yeah, talk about. Sure. Yeah. Mm. So, but before that, um, I'll ask Kelvin to pray for us. To be my pleasure. Okay. So let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you, we worship you, and we glorify your name, Jehovah. Father, thank you for this opportunity again, Lord, that Lord will enable us to be here, to be able to continue uh, discovering the mysteries in your word, my Redeemer. And Father, we mm-hmm. welcome your presence and we pray the Lord you take us through, my Redeemer. Use us as vessels, O oh God, today in the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Father, we also pray for our dear viewer, Jehovah Lord, God Almighty, wherever they are. I pray the Lord you continue giving them understanding and mm-hmm. wisdom, O oh God, in your word, even as we discuss this topic in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. Give us understanding, O oh God. Teach us, O oh God. Admonish us, my Redeemer, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, Father, we want to know you and know you better each and every day. And I pray that, Lord, even as you continue doing this and studying your word, that, Father, shall keep on revealing yourself to us, O oh God, in new ways each and every time, O oh God. Father, we thank you and we worship you. It is in the name of Jesus Christ that we do pray, trusting and believing in you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Mm. Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be looking at the topic friendship and accountability, mm. specifically in church. Yeah. And um, this is a very important um, topic that we'll be talking about because um, mm. I'd take us back to the to the early church mm. that, um, that was started by the disciples. And mm. it's... Um, there was a lot it was a very close knit community mm, of believers mm. and they fellowship together and they were they even helped each other in times in terms of in times of need they even went to the extent of even selling their own property mm. all their property and and distributing it among themselves as mm. believers and um if we look at today's church i don't think we've reached that level um, mm. They were on a level of their own. They had friendship and accountability that mm. was on another level. And um, I think it's important that we, as Christians today, um, look into um, strengthening our friendships and accountability mm. Mm. in church yeah. uh, because um, it's very important. Mm. And uh, But bef- um, before that, I'd like us to define what friendship and what accountability mm, is mm. especially in the context of church mm. yeah can yeah i would start by saying uh, by trying to discuss about friendship mm-hmm. before you go to to accountability mm-hmm. i would say that friendship is um, a bond that exists between two people yeah. or between groups of people mm-hmm. who uh, have shown interests in each other's uh, life events yeah so these are people who are most of the times they are together doing some things together. Mm-hmm. Almost they, they share the same interests. Uh, their mindset is, is, is almost the same. And uh, they work together most of the times. And friendships can happen between uh, both uh, genders. Mm-hmm. It can be between a man and a woman. It can be between a man and a man, a woman and a woman. All through. So that's friendship. Now, when you talk of uh, accountability, accountability still arises from friendship. Mm-hmm. Accountability is, is only possible uh, amongst friends yeah. because you not find someone who is outside there, you do not know about them mm-hmm. and you want them to be your accountability partner. Yeah, yeah and uh, accountability, like I've said, it arises from friendship. Mm-hmm. This means that you have a cycle of friends, but, that, but within that cycle, there's still particular people mm-hmm that that um, are your accountability partners. Yeah. And these are people that you've been able to identify mm-hmm. 
from uh, your frequent interactions with mm. each other and if you've seen uh, these people are uh, they can be they can be there to help you advise and do all those sort of things yeah. and uh, just in life and uh, that's all about accountability and, and accountability means that you have uh, decided to lower your walls you mm. decided to uh, to leave to put pride aside mm. and allowed someone who you love and trust mm-hmm. to be able to point out some flaws in your life mm. and to be able to correct you and rebuke you mm-hmm. with all love mm. so that's that that becomes your accountability partner this mm. person that when they rebuke you and they do it with love and they make you understand and know that actually here mm-hmm. this you could have done it this way or they encourage you in, in this particular manner yeah. then that person can pick them to be your accountability partner exactly yeah and so there's no accountability without friendship yeah mm. that's true they are mm. mutually uh, they they are very mutual things they exactly. have to like, coexist mm. and um mm. The scripture actually talks about accountability and it talks about friendship. Mm. And I'll start with the book of Ecclesiastes mm-hmm. chapter 4 verse 9 mm. to 10 where it says two are better than one mm-hmm. because they have a good reward mm. for their labor a good reward for their labor. For if they fall one will lift up his companion but what to him who is alone when he falls for he has no one to help him up. Mm-hmm. So um friendship is very important in normal human relations mm. let's even put aside um, in church in yeah, the human homo and true. normal human relations mm. um we are very social beings if in fact if somebody uh, avoids social interactions then actually that person is seen as there's something wrong with them yeah true we can't live on our own we the people that we are we didn't become um what we are if if it were not for the people around us True. in fact i find this um this saying of that these are self made i don't think it's a very, it's a very true s- statement mm-hmm. no one can be self made mm. uh, society has to contribute to building them up so and this scripture is talking about how two are, two is better than one that if a person falls then the other the other compa- their companion is able to lift him up mm. and it's it's something that happens it's a mutual understanding of if this one falls i lift him up because now a time will come when the person who fell will be the one standing up and the one who lifted him up will be the one falling mm. so we have to lift also lift each other up in that yep. mm-hmm. that is the nature of uh, social beings yeah and uh, i think it is evident in every creature actually mm-hmm. not only human beings yes even when you look at the other creatures you'll find uh, they work together mm-hmm. either to two three three or in, or in a group yeah and in as much as probably may not understand their language but they are friends mm-hmm. and so even human beings are social beings yeah and since we are social beings that means we cannot um, live um you cannot live apart from other people that are around us mm-hmm. there must be a connection yeah with at least a group or a person mm-hmm. and that uh, i may say that gives meaning to life because mm-hmm. because you could wonder living alone without having a friend you're just there alone mm-hmm. life will always be like meaningless because you can't talk you can't share your feelings you yeah. can't share your mind you mm-hmm. can't share your opinion mm-hmm. you're just there life would be very boring yeah and so we are social beings and so friendship is very key very key and it comes out just naturally yeah even with the little children you find that uh, a child is born they are one year old mm-hmm. they meet with their their age mates yeah. in the village they make friendships they go play mm-hmm. it happens yeah that's very true mm. and um i'll take us now to james chapter 5 mm-hmm. verse 16 where it says confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much mm. so this verse in james james is talking about accountability and the bible actually commands us to confess to one another and i guess that would be something that is very difficult for people who don't understand how mm. how much how important this is mm. um confessing to one another but um accountability involves us being vulnerable with each other mm-hmm. first first of all as you said this person has to be your friend and then now you purposefully make them your accountability partner and then now um you're able to speak of the weaknesses that you have mm-hmm. the struggles that you're going through even 
good things that are happening to you this is the person that you you'll, you'll go and talk to um and they'll encourage you when you're going through a hard time they'll also be accountable for you following up on things that you want to develop in like maybe if it's prayer you've decided you want to develop in your prayer life mm. and this person will keep you accountable and keep asking you are you following up on this mm. and that will help you develop as a christian mm. it's very important to have an accountability mm. partner and um as much as it's difficult to open up to somebody uh you have to think about the benefits that it's going to bring you exactly mm-hmm. you've talked about you've talked about vulnerability yeah and uh that i think that is very clear in the bible mm-hmm. um accountability is whereby one christian submits to another christian yeah actually the bible talks about submit to one another yeah that is in the book of ephesians mm-hmm. submit to one another brethren and uh basically that verse means that uh, uh we consider ourselves vulnerable to one another yeah we don't consider ourselves as though we know everything as though we are above everyone mm-hmm. but we take it like um, like you are higher than me i'm higher yeah. than you mm-hmm. and uh, you are able to to talk to me you're able to share your mind with me yeah. you're able to to correct me you're mm-hmm. able to give me advice and yeah. all that mm-hmm. like i'm able to come to you to seek for advice and all that yeah. so vulnerability plays a key role mm-hmm. especially when it comes to accountability yeah. friendship and accountability yeah yeah especially yeah. among us brethren that's mm. true it actually it's a it's a kind it's a, it's humility mm-hmm. it's um it's it's let me say it's an evidence of humility that can, we can say it, it's an evidence of humility among us brethren because if you're not humble if you if you're not humble you will not um ask someone to be your accountability partner yeah, yeah. if you're not humble you'll not allow someone to come and and tell you things the way they are mm-hmm. and try to correct you and try to to show you the right path yeah. you'll we'll be asking yourself kwani is is it you who knows more than me mm-hmm. you see so humility comes in and plays a major role and uh humility is key in the bible it's bible encourages us to be humble yeah be humble and and resist the, resist the devil be humble with one another mm-hmm. and humility is the only way up mm-hmm. humility is the only way up if you are humble then you'll be raised yeah. and that's what god says mm-hmm. mm. that's true mm. and uh we have to be humble enough to admit that we cannot do it on our own exactly like exactly. graciousness is is very hard to attain and mm. if we have people who are with us and they are helping us get there then it's it's all the all the much better yeah true if true. we get into that mm. and um i'd wonder why aren't people being vulnerable and um accepting accountability partners and i'm not establishing very strong friendship in church why do you think that happens um that happens mm-hmm. because of the fallen nature of man yeah you see man thinks about himself it's me i and myself mm-hmm. and that that culminates to pride mm-hmm. and so many human beings are proud of themselves yeah and that was seen uh, even in the garden of eden mm-hmm. when uh, the serpent told if you know what when you eat this fruit you'll be like god so that it, it will not it now it will not be about him but it will be about you yeah it will be about him because now i have the knowledge i have the wisdom i can think like god thinks mm-hmm. i can see like god sees so mm-hmm. i don't need god so it's about me mm-hmm. me myself and i yeah and so that spirit is what now spread to all humanity yeah that's why it makes it difficult just for someone to come and, and be vulnerable to another person yeah unless they are truly born again mm-hmm. unless they have been uh, their hearts have been regenerated by god himself mm-hmm. they have been changed then they'll be able to do so mm-hmm. otherwise pride plays a key role in uh, making it difficult for someone to be vulnerable yeah. to another friend or another yeah. person mm-hmm. mm. like that even that pride would even make you think like you're able to do it on your own exactly you can 
you can overcome sins on your own and you don't have to tell anybody exactly which is uh an illusion it's a lie from the enemy yes mm. it's a it's a lie f- and that is how you'll you'll fall and then you'll not be able to get up exactly yeah mm. and also i think people value their their privacy mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. they don't want to they want they don't want people in their business mm-hmm. and um being accountable to somebody involves you letting them into your the deepest part of your if exactly. of your life exactly. and people don't want that mm. yeah exactly that's true mm-hmm. That's true and uh that can uh, can make someone to live in a particular cocoon mm-hmm. thinking that they are progressing while uh, truthfully speaking when you look deeply yeah something is starting to build up yeah which will later later in life yeah. explode and will not be uh, good Private anymore yeah, yeah ex- exactly mm-hmm. mm. exactly mm. yeah and uh, also um people don't realize that accountability is actually a, a command it's not something that james is suggesting mm. it's a command from the bible mm. that we should be accountable to one another because it says that um that we that we may be healed so a lot of healing comes from healing from our sinful nature it comes from being accountable to mm. one another mm. yeah that's true mm. healing talking of healing mm-hmm. and james i think james was very objective when he was saying that uh, that you may be healed confess mm-hmm. your sins to one another that you may be healed mm-hmm. and uh, the healing that james is talking about here i want to believe it's not it, it, may, it may not necessarily be the physical healing yeah but most times it is the emotional healing yeah. Yeah, yeah. because no doctor is able to heal emotional mm-hmm. sickness Uh, psychologists they try but most times they fail mm-hmm. it's only god who is able to heal yeah. that and uh, and if if we share out our struggles mm-hmm. with our accountability partners to some extent it releases uh, that burden yeah. that heaviness that built up in our hearts as a result of what we're struggling mm-hmm. with uh, someone said that sin sin thrives in secrecy and that's very true sin it flourishes in secrecy mm-hmm. that's why you'll find uh, there are people people who are born again but they're struggling with something yeah. in their lives mm-hmm. and since it is secret they will never be able to come out of it mm-hmm. and i don't know james when he was talking about confessing he meant the literal confession yeah and that can only happen between accountability partners some people whom you've brought closer to your life those are the people that will share with uh, your struggles because you know you understand one another one another they will not judge you but they will they will, uh, they will uh, encourage you mm-hmm. they, if if they have to rebuke you they will do it with all love yeah. and all that so you'll share with them to encourage you and by sharing it's like there's something you release there's, there's a force that you release from your heart yeah and that force coming back will be very difficult because mm-hmm. you've talked it out mm-hmm. so that's why it's, it's important to have accountability partners people closer to you um it, they can be one mm-hmm. they can be two or three of yeah. course they're usually not many mm-hmm. maybe if, maybe three could be the maximum number of people accountability partners but most times it's usually one or two mm-hmm. and so these are people that you can share your struggles with and they will help you because a accounta- accountability partner is a person who is uh, who wants to see you succeed is a person who wants to see you progress is mm-hmm. a person who wants to see you moving from one level to another yeah so this is a person who will not just sit back and see you um following a path that will lead to the detriment of your life yeah they'll try as much as possible to ensure that you you are uh, you are kept on course mm-hmm. and so those are, are accountability partners and if you identify such people yeah it's good to bring them closer to you mm-hmm. and uh um i usually say that if you want to find an accountability partner always look around your friend your friends even mentors look around your friends and uh, from among us to your friends you not someone who is growth and development oriented yeah. you're not someone who is always almost like let me say on you when it comes to the, to 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 success and progress 
you'll find them encouraging you telling you know what you can do better than mm-hmm. this try this one you can do you can yeah. do this one mm-hmm. there's nothing impossible yeah. uh today here you went wrong please follow this path yeah. and they do it from a friendship point of view mm-hmm. and you, uh, that should uh, be able to raise your eyebrows and say ah this person could be a good person to pick to become my accountability partner yeah and then from there you develop that relationship mm-hmm. yeah and then i think it's important to actually get somebody who's on a higher level spiritually than you exactly because now they are supposed to help you to grow now mm. since they are growth and um oriented then they should be able to take you from where you are to a higher level exactly me um, exactly and then also you talked about um how honesty you have to find somebody who's honest honest mm. with you that they'll not hide from you when you're going wrong they'll be brutally honest with you because it's for your own betterment mm. yeah and you need to hear the truth for that for you to um get better at that mm-hmm. yeah and then of course um we also have similar interests yeah, yeah um when you have somebody who you share a lot with then it's much easier for you to become friends and to even become deeper accountability partners because now you speak the same language mm, me true mm-hmm. true uh so um why do you think it's important for us to have friendships and accountability partners in church it's important mm-hmm. one because you see the bible says do not neglect the meeting together of brethren yes. in the book of hebrews and that was put there specifically because when we meet together as brethren we get to build friendship mm-hmm. we get to identify accountability partners yeah. and uh, these are people who will tie up our faith mm-hmm. they'll be able to stir up our faith so that we remain uh, burning for christ these are people who will uh, encourage us because again even as human beings we still need encouragement mm-hmm. from someone yeah. to be able to to uh, to encourage you to do better or to to tell you that you know what today you've done better mm-hmm. and that will encourage you to move on to continue doing yeah. the same or even improving and doing better and better yeah. these are people um that will uh, rebuke you with a lot of love mm-hmm. especially when you go wrong yeah they'll rebuke you they'll call you aside and tell you and talk to you and tell you the truth and share with you uh the both sides of that event or mm-hmm. that thing that happened and uh they will always lead you to the right direction yeah and so that's why you need an accountability partner mm-hmm. so that they will keep you in check yeah especially uh, in matters of life and matters of life is uh spirituality social life economic life academic life um and all that so in all matters of life you'll find someone who will be keeping you in check mm-hmm. mm. yeah and of course none of us has good times um always mm. we go through difficult times and we need somebody to be there for us exactly and encourage us and sometimes even your faith me be hit hard by those difficult times mm. and these accountability partners are there to encourage you and to help you build your faith mm. when you when your faith is failing exactly yeah mm. and even um the book of the first Thessalonians chapter 4 mhm first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 17 to 18 talks about it says then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the lord therefore comfort one another with these words mm. um as christians in, in fact we even go through more difficult times than the normal than the normal man true, true. because the, the devil is they are fighting against us and using people in the world to persecute us and to yeah and to mm. just give us a difficult time mm. and um the bible is encouraging us that we should comfort one another with these words that we'll always be with the lord that this is not the end exactly there there'll come a time when we'll not have to go through the trouble of um being persecuted and um sicknesses and death that will be with the lord and will have no more sorrow yeah. true true and of course pia um happy times not just difficult times when you're going through a happy time then 
you have people to celebrate with and to and to rejoice with you that mm. god has been good that good things are happening in your sure. life sure sure yeah. mm. mm-hmm. that times that uh, it tells me that accountability is not just about uh do's and don'ts mm-hmm. so accountability you don't need an accountability partner like for example if you're looking for an accountability partner it doesn't mean that these are people who will always be there to correct your wrongs yeah. like when i do wrong I, i approach them i tell them you know yeah. what i did this and this please give me advice help me it's not just about that mm-hmm. that's still part of it but these are people who will be with you through thick and, and thin. thin yeah through uh seasons of happiness through the low moments mm-hmm. they'll be there mm-hmm. with you yeah they'll celebrate with you they will mourn with you they will share with you they will eat with you and uh they'll be able to encourage you and also to rebuke you mm-hmm. when it's necessary yeah yeah that's very true mm. and you see accountability is a it's um it's a higher level of friendship mm-hmm. it's a it's a kind of friendship that that is on another level and uh, it comes with a lot of responsibility mm-hmm. so that means if you have an accountability partner then you need to be re- very responsible and deliberate enough mm-hmm. about uh, that relationship because um, there will be no meaning of having an accountability partner and you're not progressing yeah. like there are things that you agree to do uh there are things and there are things that you agree not to do mm-hmm. and you find yourself doing the opposite and then the accountability relationship becomes meaningless so that means it comes with that responsibility mm-hmm. you be responsible enough yeah with that relationship build that relationship ensure it grows for 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 you to be able to benefit yeah from that yeah mm. and there's um proverbs 27 actually mm. talks something along those lines where it says 27 proverbs 27 9 mm. where it says ointment and perfume delight the heart and the sweetness of a man's friends gives um delight by hearty counsel and in other versions where it says advice from a, f- a friend is heartfelt mm. and um it's talking about how when your friend gives you advice so they they give you counsel then you should it should not offend you you should accept that as positive criticism mm. and take it seriously and actually do something about it and that way you'll grow because if you're sensitive and you keep getting offended even if something is being said because um, i think our 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 instinct as human beings is to get protective and to get defensive when somebody says something negative about us but we should be humble enough to actually accept that advice and do something about it because now it is somebody who's outside and is seeing you has a better view of you mm. than you have of yourself sometimes you think you're doing the right thing yet you're not true yeah true so we should be humble enough to accept that mm. yeah and of course we should also pray for each other as accountability partners um as the, the the other part of the of James chapter 5 verse chapter 5 verse 16 mm. the last the last part says the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much so prayer prayer is powerful and um praying for each other as friends and as accountability partners is very important because some people sometimes we are going through invisible battles that we are not even able to um let our accountability partners partners know and that's where pr- prayer comes in mm. that we're able to fight for that person in the spiritual mm. in the spiritual realm true yeah. um accountability uh the things that uh, accountability makes accountability possible yeah and one we say that uh, it can't happen out of friendship mm-hmm. so there must be a friendship relationship yeah. another thing is that this uh, friendship should be based on uh, genuine love genuine love honesty trustworthiness integrity mm-hmm. and all those things you find that uh, we are living in a generation whereby uh, many times we are disappointed by our own fellow believers yeah. and christians and we find that someone who we thought is very fiery mm-hmm. 
someone we we thought he or she is progressing well in uh, salvation they're doing stuff and you admire them mm-hmm. you admire their progress you admire their 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 salvation mm-hmm. you want to be like them you admire their faith and later later something happens and you find that they are fallen somewhere mm-hmm. and many times that one shakes the faith of a christian yeah and i believe that more so those who are still young in faith mm-hmm. and they were looking and up to that person exactly yes and uh now the question of accountability in church comes in mm-hmm. i think we are almost falling short of genuine love in the church mm-hmm. nowadays people say that they love one another with the love they love one another but truthfully speaking in the heart there's no genuine love yeah. because if people truly loved one another then almost everyone will have an accountability partner mm-hmm. and probably these cases that we hear will be minimized there will be very little or even at all uh, they'll not be there yeah. so uh, that says that unless we love one another genuinely mm-hmm. as believers and as christians we ask God to place a love in us for one another mm-hmm. and that love it means that you have a burden for your fellow brother your fellow sister in yeah. christ you have a burden for them and that burden drives you to approach them to check on them mm-hmm. to know how they are doing to help them out to be there for one another mm-hmm. because without genuine love that will not be possible yeah people will be just coming to church after after you've had the word then everyone leaves on their way out and that becomes a problem mm-hmm. and so someone is struggling will remain in their struggle and of course something which is done in darkness the bible is, is also very clear a time comes it goes out mm-hmm. and when it goes out then it it becomes chaotic yeah. in the christian fraternity and we, we wouldn't love such to see such happening mm-hmm. so so that means we need to have accountability partners let's have um, in our cycles let's have accountability partners let us let us let us have people that we can open up to on matters about our life yeah. and if 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 you feel like uh, there's something that we can't really open up to you need to ask ourselves questions why do we fear to open up to someone about this particular thing yeah. why do i fear mm-hmm. and then try to examine that fear is it is it the correct fear mm-hmm. and most times you'll find that the fear uh, uh, to a bigger degree doesn't come it, it's not a good one mm-hmm. it's only the devil that, that is telling you just hide this one because if you tell out this and this will happen yeah. you'll get a lot of shame you'll be mm-hmm. ashamed and all that mm-hmm. um which should not be the case i'd rather be ashamed before my closer friend than before a whole the whole world yeah. so to save that situation accept that shame between you and your accountability partner yeah because one thing which i believe after you shared you've uh, gotten out that force from you and the it it should not come back it will not come back it will no longer have a power on you because exactly yeah. exactly mm. and and, and uh, talking about still talking about friendship and accountability mm-hmm. you mentioned about uh, the the disciples of christ the way mm-hmm. they were united yeah uh during the new testament times acts chapter 4 talks about peter and john mm-hmm. peter and john used to preach the gospel yeah. and they were they were arrested by the pharisees the sadducees of that time yeah. and uh they asked them a question why do you keep on preaching the name of jesus christ mm-hmm. and they were able to defend themselves because they had also worked some miracles and wonders around mm-hmm. and they were arrested and jailed for a night so that their case could be heard the next day and uh of course the other brethren had had the news and what they did they went to pray they went to a church to their church they gathered to, uh, they gathered together and they prayed for peter yeah. and john mm-hmm. and so that tells you that these friends were almost like accountability partners too yeah. peter and james peter and john sorry and when uh, when uh, they were released with the conditions mm-hmm. we release you but not preach about the name of Christ again yeah. 
what they did they went the bible says they went and reported these matters to their friends and their friends prayed about the matters and uh, god gave them the boldness to preach the word even more mm-hmm. so you see uh, they were threatened but they had friends they had accountability partners whom they can share their fears they can share their experiences with them and they get encouraged yeah. most likely if those friends were not there they could have been threatened and they could have been uh, they could have given in mm-hmm. to the threats yeah. you see but when you get someone who will encourage you and tell you, you know what you can still do this we are here for you we are praying for you mm-hmm. we are behind you go do it you will go yeah mm. and it's also important to put our interests above others people's interests above our own mm. that's when it will allow us to have that genuine friendship and genuine love for our brethren and it exactly. will be, it will be much better that way mm. yeah mm. so i think we've come to the end of um this topic i hope you've learned uh, a lot and that you will go out of your way to make friends deep friendships and you'll also get an accountability partner who will keep you in check in your christian work because we can't do this alone um two is better than one as the bible says so we need to take that as um our motto exactly when we relate with each other in church so um thank you for joining us uh thank you for sticking up to this uh to this point um remember that we are also looking for people who will um have discussions with us concerning the word of god and if you are interested and if you have know somebody who's interested then feel free to reach us out at pefa chikimauyuth@gmail.com and we'll be very happy to have you here with us so have a nice week bye